All right, we just picked up this Remington 870. It's a three and a half inch. It's the Turkey Predator model, SPS. It's got a 20 inch barrel. It also came with a Tasco red dot. We weren't much on that, so we switched out with the Aimpoint T1. When we purchased the gun, it came with an extra full Remington choke tube. This is the Longbeard XR Carlson choke tube. at 0 .660. If it works, we stick with it. We uh, did some shooting earlier. We ran out of memory, so our last 50-yard shot didn't get picked up by the camera. This was 30, 40, and 50. It's definitely a nice light carry gun. It does have a little bit of recoil, but it's definitely manageable. It seems like the butt pad really soaks up a lot of the recoil. We're using three and a half inch Winchester long beard, five shot. Seems to do great. It's a great, great mobile. Definitely think this is what we're gonna go with this year. But I don't think we're done yet. We are out of three and a half inch long beard, but we have some three inch left. I think we're going to try to get back to around 50, 60 yards. We'll figure it out when we get back there and uh, shoot a water bottle and see if we do penetrate it at that distance with a three inch. Maybe we can save a couple dollars and shoot three inch instead of three and a half. But the three and a half is doing great. I would definitely take it out in the field. That was definitely a hit. I think the three inches is good. I wouldn't worry about uh, taking in the woods with me at all. So, it's definitely a, a dead turkey. I mean, that's probably about as, as wide as its head. At 56 yards, that water bottle is empty. That's a damn good gun. I think that's the gun we're going with. BRT approved. We're all out of three and a half inch. So we got uh, the Winchester Longbeard three inch, it's the magnum load, which is an ounce, seven eighths, five shot. I don't see a whole lot of difference. Both those shots were from the same distance. The three and a half inch is a two ounce load. This is an inch and, or an ounce and seven eighths. So we can go side by side and compare. All right, so this is our 30 yard, three and a half inch, 40 yard, three and a half inch, our 50 yard, three and a half inch, and our 50 yard, three inch. This was a ounce and seven eighths magnum load. As you can see, there's not a whole lot more difference. We might have a couple more hints in the middle with the three and a half inch, but I mean, that's definitely a dead bird there. So it's up to you to make your own opinion. I would go out in the woods with either one, me at three and a half or three inch.
Got him. Yeah.